When Dinosaurs Came with Everything, written by Elise Broach, illustrated by David Small. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Suzanne. Let's go on a reading adventure together. Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining me today as we read When Dinosaurs Came with Everything, written by Elise Broach and illustrated by David Small. <gasps> And this book was written for Ward in honor of all our family trips to the American Museum of Natural History. And David Small illustrated this book for Lily. And we have some dinosaurs at our museum, which is pretty cool to go and look at. So you might want to take a peek. All right, here we go. Friday is errand day. My mom goes on boring errands and I have to go with her. He must not be at school yet. I see, I see. And this Friday seemed like every other Friday until we got to the bakery. Oh, I love the bakery. A sign above the donuts read. I see that sign right there. Buy a dozen, get a dinosaur. Oh, that sign must not be right. I couldn't believe my eyes. Neither could my mom. They must just mean a toy, she said. <gasps> Maybe it is a toy. <gasps> Let's see. But when I took the box of donuts, oh, they must have bought a dozen. The lady behind the counter said, hold on, little guy. Don't forget your dinosaur. <gasps> and there he was. How did that dinosaur fit in the bakery? Mom, I yelled. It was a triceratops. I see one, two, and three horns. What, cried my mom. She did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry, he'll follow you. They always do. Really? A dinosaur following you around? <gasps> there he is. And he did, all the way to the doctor's office where I had to go for my checkup. Mom shook her head. What are we gonna do with him now? She looked up and down. That took a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. There's birds on his back. Yeah, we shouldn't talk to strangers. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker, like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse. Just dinosaurs. With a shot, you get two. <gasps> He's gonna get it. What, what, what? He says, I want a shot, I said. The nurse smiled. Not today, buddy. But you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. Normally we don't want to get needles, but he wanted a needle so he could get two dinosaurs. He still gets to get one. Mom, I yelled. There at the front desk was a stegosaurus. Ooh, look at the spikes on his tail. What on earth is going on? My mom cried. It's a special day, the nurse explained. Today, dinosaurs come with everything. Yes, I said. No, my mom groaned. Somebody's happy and somebody's not. <laughs> we walked down the street and my triceratops and my stegosaurus walked right behind us. Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, really though, it would be very vibrating. They made friends right away. Across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an ankylosaur, a duckbill, and a velociraptor. We all waved at each other. Our mothers glared and kept on walking. The moms don't seem too happy about this whole dinosaur coming with everything thing. I think we better go home right now, my mom said. But what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaurs. She looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon. Uh-huh, I said. I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a dinosaur or a, a barber sore. <laughs> At the barber shop, I gave my triceratops and my stegosaurus donuts for a snack. They waited outside and watched through the glass. Those donuts look very small for those big dinosaur mouths. Look at the big dinosaur mouths. He's giving them a donut and it looks so tiny. Oh my goodness. The barber pumped up the chair high. He cut my hair too short, but I didn't mind because then he patted my head and said, wait right here, sport. He was gone for a long time. My mom tapped her foot. She says, I don't like this. 
Where, where exactly do they keep the balloons? Just then, the barber came back with something flying over his head. And it was not a balloon. Mom! I yelled. It was a petrosaur! This is too much, my mom said. Now listen, she said to the barber. I think a balloon will be do just fine today. Don't you have any balloons? Sorry, lady. No balloons. You get one of these instead. That is not a balloon, but it does fly in the sky. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hmm. um, he's outside on top of the shoes. And it was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign said, buy two pair, get a free dinosaur. My mom decided my shoes would last longer, so she didn't buy shoes. At the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter, you want a dinosaur with that? My mom said we'd go to the movies another day, so they're not going to the movies either. At the diner, I wanted to stop for a hamburger. Oh, he's getting hungry. Oh, no. I'm turning my pages, but I'm forgetting to turn your pages, my friends. I'm so sorry. And there's the movie theater, and she's like, nope, because there's dinosaurs. Oh, and there's the diner way down there. Oh, he wanted a burger. But then a girl walked out of the diner with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. What do you think mom said? Are they going to the diner or are they not going to the diner? Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch here. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my, what's that one again? Petrosaur? Yeah, sure. What are we supposed to do with all these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. We can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, mom. They can live in the backyard. Oh, isn't that nice of him? He's finding a place for them to live. My mom shook her head though. <gasps> Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. Kind of like having a new puppy or a new kitten or even just having an animal in your house. <gasps> But mom, look, they eat anything. Ew. And they sleep outside. They're eating garbage. I'll do everything I promise. Please, mom, please. My mom sighed. <sighs> well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens we didn't stop at the diner. Because they would have gotten another dinosaur. Ah! All right, let's turn the page. Maybe. <gasps> there it is. All right, let's go back to this page. We hurried home and my dinosaurs hurried after us. Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. When we were almost there, we saw a little duck-billed dinosaur. Oh, look, he is little. Standing alone on a street corner and he looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. But the hadrosaur followed us. It wasn't my fault. Or was it? Look what he's holding in his hand. <gasps> He's holding a donut. No wonder the hadrosaur is following him. <gasps> when we got home, my mom needed to lie down. It must have been a lot. So I made lunch for the dinosaurs. <gasps> I think all he made was a mess. I don't know if the dog is going to be going outside anytime soon. Mm. I showed them where they could go to the bathroom. Oh, behind the shed. She doesn't look like a shed. It looks like a miniature house. Uh, and I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his mean dog. Look at them. Oh, he doesn't look so mean, does he? He looks a little scared. I'd be scared if I was faced with four dinosaurs too. And I showed them my slide, my tire swing, and all the toys in the garage. I think they brought all the toys out. They seem to be having fun, but they really went wild when I took my frisbee outside. Oh, a frisbee. The hadrosaur had the first throw. The frisbee landed on the roof. I saw my mom watching from out the window. Is everything all right out here? She said. Everything's fine, mom. We can get it down. And my petrosaur flew up and plucked the frisbee out of the gutter. Mom kept watching. She looked at him for a long time. Look, they're in a staring contest. Have a staring contest? No, I'm not gonna win. Come here, Zeus. Sorry, I had to call my puppy. He sounds like he's trying to eat some cardboard. The next thing I knew, she had him cleaning the gutter. See all the leaves up there? Now she's going to get him cleaning the gutters. Oh, he's very good at that, though. He, he can get up there. Then she came out to the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they? She said. Oh, 
Is she hanging socks on a dinosaur? Uh. Pretty soon, my mom had thought of chores for all my dinosaurs. Is that Triceratops really? He's chewing the grass and hes it's like he's mowing the grass. What? That's crazy. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant they were part of the family. Oh, and he's helping with the leaves with his tail. That's so kind. When we were finished helping my mom, she said I could invite some friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. Oh, no. I hope the dinos don't have a lot of friends. The friends don't have a lot of dinos. Ah, that's funny. And guess what happened next? Look at the lifeguard. He's actually standing on the Triceratops' face. Oh, my goodness. I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery, and she asked, Do you have any donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. You don't think she went and got more dinosaurs? Because I don't think I saw the guy with the, the fan on his back before. And there's some little ones. Mm, I'm going to get some more dinos. <gasps> that was our book, When Dinosaurs Came With Everything. That would be pretty cool. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today while we shared our story. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Have a great day.